Hey everyone, it's Joy here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today's card is a fun card using some Lovely Layers products and doing a little bit of distressing. So I'm starting with a piece of cardstock from the Vintage Love cardstock and I am using the large frame from the Lace Heart Layering Frames and this is going to be our background. Then I also am going to die cut the window from the Blooming Views stamp set. Well, it's a stamp and die. I just used the die, not the coordinating stamp. So I wanna do a little bit of aging on this window. So I am roughly ink blending using Weathered Wood Distress Oxide ink and the tiny blender brush from Honeybee Stamps. And as you can see, I have dark and light areas. I really want this window to look old, shabby, distressed. And then we're gonna add some acrylic paint to this to give it an even more distressed look. So I am just ink blending, like I said, roughly, so some areas are darker than others, and that's exactly what I'm going for. I am using a metallic acrylic paint. This is called Sparks um, Mermaid Sparkle, and I'm just using my finger and rubbing it along the edges of this window frame. I loved that it's arched. I wish my house had arched windows. So this is just so pretty to me. And I'm going kind of on either side of each little piece of frame, adding this sparkly acrylic paint. So you could use any kind of acrylic paint for this. Again, I'm just aging this window to give it a good distressed look. So I'm dipping my finger in the paint. I'm tapping a lot of the excess off onto my work surface and working with that wet paint. Look at how pretty that is. I love how this turned out. I'm gonna add a few more little spots here that needed it and then also for that background that we die cut I thought it would be fun to add a little bit of paint on that scalloped edge and there's a little bit of embossing from that die and I do want to catch some of that so I'm rubbing it very lightly I don't have a lot of paint on my finger and just keeping it nice and light once I'm done with that then we can start ink blending our Lovely Layers Sweetheart Roses. I am using three different colors of pink. I am using Kitsch Flamingo, Spun Sugar, and Picked Raspberry, which is this here. I'm still using the, a small blender brush because these roses are so tiny, but these are gonna have so, so many beautiful layers. And I am just ink blending on the areas that have embossed spots from the dies. That's where I know you're gonna really see that part of that die cut piece. I'm using three different colors of pink. Like I mentioned, I did wanna have multiple different colors. This is Spun Sugar. I'm gonna do the medium rose and the smallest little, or the second smallest bud with this color here. And then the final one will be the Kitsch Flamingo. So I, once I'm done ink blending, I'm just gonna scoot it aside so I can work on the next flower of doing some ink blending. There is a large, a medium, and two of a little flower bud. So let me finish ink blending this guy here. Let's bring in our next one. And again, this is going to be the Kitsch Flamingo. Then we have some leaves and we have the whole stem. So on the Lovely Layers Sweetheart Roses, there is a flower pot. And then you have this whole plant, it looks like a rose bush essentially. And I'm just using the rose bush, not the flower pot for this card. I'm using Shabby Shutters Distress Oxide Ink to ink blend the leaves. I did die cut two sets of leaves. I did a, use a few extra around the card, but die cutting one set will fit this background perfectly. So if you die cut everything once, that's really all that you need. Then here is that bush part. Now there's not, there's a lot of leaves on the bush, but there's not that many leaves to die cut. Only a few of those leaves fit on here that are gonna give it the, the layers for the lovely layers. Okay, let's start adhering our leaves to this background piece here. 
So using a little bit of liquid glue and my embellishment wand will make it line up easy. And then I'm just matching the leaves to the leaves on this whole little, this whole big, large die cut. Let's pop this guy in place. And then we are able to adhere our roses together. And something that's easy about the lovely layers is even if you didn't have a guide, you really could for the most part, figure out how to lay these out. You just find the area that matches up. So if you lay them out from largest to smallest die cut piece, and you just work from largest to smallest, you will see how they lay on top of each other. And it really is super, super simple. So I'm starting with the two smallest of these roses, our cute little rosebuds here. And then there is some greenery that goes on those two guys. Then I add some liquid glue to the second largest piece, find where it lines up on the largest piece and adhere it down. And then I'm just gonna work down to the smallest one. And I love these, I love that how small they are. They're so pretty. You know, usually the lovely layers are really big, which is gorgeous. I love everything lovely layers, but these little roses are just so tiny and dainty. I just think they're really quite pretty. Okay, let's put our last one together here. This is our medium size rose. And I'm going to get all of those pieces together. And I did leave some areas lighter, some areas darker. So you will see a little bit of that. Again, I did try to keep the darker color to where there was the embossed area from the die. But I did like the variation in the color. Okay, those are finally done and we can adhere those to this background piece. At first I was like, where does that big guy go? But I'll show you. <laughs> so here's the medium one. We're gonna adhere right there and then we have our two smaller ones. I did realize I didn't ink blend right at the bottom of the flowers and there are some little leaves. So under the two buds, you definitely need to ink blend those little pieces there. Let's put this other guy in place. And then this guy will go right there where the other two leaves connect. Let's adhere our vellum to our window here. So I used the solid die cut for the window, not the one that has all the trim pieces. I used the solid die cut and die cut out a piece of vellum. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of liquid glue and then I can adhere that vellum piece right behind it. And I also want to add some foam adhesive because I do want this to be dimensional on my background. So I'm, I'm going to use some foam sticky strips. I removed the release paper, which makes it really easy to bend around and follow your shape. And then I just need one more piece to finish this off. And then this will have some dimension because I do love dimension on my cards. Trim off that excess and pop that in the middle. Look how pretty that is. That's even pretty on that background without the window, but we need to have the window. I decided to do some splatter with that same acrylic paint. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm gonna splatter the background and I'm also going to splatter the roses. I didn't wanna do it on the vellum because I think it would just stay wet forever. Eventually it would dry, but I knew I would probably smear it. So I wanted to avoid making that mistake. So I just decided to do it to the flowers and the background. And I'm doing it kind of heavy on the flowers. And I think that teal color is pretty against the pink. Okay, let's adhere this window right to the center. I love how distressed this looks. I think it's so pretty. Then I'm also going to add some foam adhesive squares behind the, the flowers here. I want this to be popped up as well. The little rose that's gonna hang off the edge of the window will need to have two layers of foam adhesive, but then I can just adhere this to that window. And that pink just brings so much life to this background. Then we have our sentiment that I'm gonna use from the Blooming Views stamp set. It says, with love and hugs. I, I'm, there is coordinating dies in that die set as well. And I'm stamping that with black ink on white cardstock, and then I can use that coordinating die to die cut this out. I'm gonna tape this in place with some low tack tape and run this through my die cut machine. 
And then now we have this beautiful sentiment. So of course I need to have some adhesive because I like my sentiments popped up and I'm going to place that there. Now I do have a few leaves because like I said, I die cut some extra leaves. I am going to add a few extra leaves around the card. I'm going to tuck this one underneath the sentiment. I felt like having a little something extra down here at the bottom would look good. So I'm going to adhere that there. And then I have another, oh, I have three more. I'm going to tuck one in by that little rose, but it's directly adhered to the background. This one will be directly adhered to the background as well. I'm just trying to decide exactly where I want everything. I'm going to tuck that in down over here. And you could cut a lot more and have definitely more greenery, but I feel like that was plenty. Then I want to add a little something. So I'm going to use the Vintage Pearl stickers and I'm going to use the pink ones. I love that they have different sizes. And so these are like, they look like little, well, like it says pearl stickers. So they look like little pearls and I'm going to use two of the three sizes, the medium and the small ones. And this just gives a little something extra to our card. And this will also be adhered to a white A2 size card base. So let me just finish getting these guys down here. They kept wanting to stick to me, but I finally got them off of there. Let's take a look at this up close. Look at how pretty that is. I just love those little sweetheart roses. I love that frame, that window frame and that background cardstock is so fun. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope you feel inspired and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.